Good afternoon, Wildcats, and welcome back to Inside Out Town. I'm Emma. And I'm Josh. Here's what you need to know for November 18th. The season of giving is here, and the leadership class and NHS are having the annual food can drive for the fish pit food pantry all next week. Please bring your canned food to, our, to your first hour class. The top two classes will see breakfast courtesy of leadership and NHS. Check your pantries this weekend and start bringing in those canned food goods on Monday. Continuing the theme of giving, this year's Charity Week starts early. Beginning December 6th, students and teachers will have opportunities to raise money for different charities. This year's charities are United Mitochondrial Disease Foundation, Camp Casey's, and Braden Ellie's. Our goal is $20,000. Be ready for those nutritional events we love, like coin stalls and belly flop, but also some new events, like game night. If we chip in, we can make this a reality. The Girls Cross Country scene come to an end this past weekend, and the team finished 8th overall in the state, and freshman Mallory Bigelow ranked 19th and also quali qualified for All-State. This month's student athlete, it, this month, is Braden Ellings. Congratulations, Brady. We are so proud of you and all your hard work this season. The girls swim and dive team recently competed in leagues. The team in every event, event placed 15th and higher, and Oxford as an overall placed third. Highlighted by Alana May, who was league champion in a 100-meter backstroke, which brings us to our student athlete of the week, Alana. We are so proud of you and all your accomplishments this season. This week, six Oxford athletes will be college signing. Kylie Jones for cross country, Carly Boyd and Bree Barrows for soccer, Brady Carpenter for baseball, and lastly Maya Spiz and Ryan Makowski for softball. Congratulations, Wildcats. The curtain opens for this year's play, It's a Wonderful Life, in the PAC. Shows will be November 11th and 12th at 7 p.m. and November 13th at 2 p.m. Tickets will be purchased at ohstheater.com. Everyone is looking forward to it, and the cast is super excited about it. This has been Inside O-Town for the week. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at OHS News Broadcasting. See you. Yeah.